And I mentioned it today in the khutbah, the statement of Imam Ibn Ta'Allah, like dig yourself deep in the earth. Because what's not dug deep in the earth doesn't grow. Like give it the process of training, give it the process of growth. It's not just suddenly going to become. I remember when I was memorizing the Quran, subhanAllah, the hardest chapter to memorize is uh, the fourth chapter, at least for me, Surat Nisa. So I remember, and I memorized it, I didn't understand Arabic, so like, it's even more difficult because you're reading, I don't even know what you're reading, right? I just knew it was like really hard. You see, Kumullahu fi awladi kumli dhakari mithlu hazil unthain. You can even hear it sounds like, I want Surah Rahman, dude. It's like a lot easier than What? So I remember my Sheikh from Senegal, he was like, if you memorize Surah Nisa, it's like you memorize the Quran. So like that put a lot of pressure on me. So like I went home, it was like busting Surah Nisa. I was in college as well. So I was like really trying to make it like on lock. And in, at least in that part of Senegal, they used to say that you can't move to a new chapter till you memorize one chapter like you memorized your name. So it's like you really have to memorize it. And we used to have to write also. Maybe some of you brothers and sisters from the Senegambian region, you know about writing on like the loha. So I came, I was ready, I was killing. It was a 45 minute drive to my teacher. I used to drive every day 45 minutes back and forth. I had no money, everything was on gas. And I got there and I was like, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna slay. You know, you forget, you need Allah and Allah will teach you. So I sat down, well, I, I sat down the first page. Ya ayyuhan nasu taqarabakum. I was like, ya ayyuhan nasu. And then I got lost. Inna khalaqanakum min dakarin wa unta wa. I went to Surtu Hujurat. <laughs> And Sheikh, Sheikh, mashallah, he was like, hmm. <laughs> like there were different sounds, right? Hmm <laughs> was like, oh Lord. Okay. And you never hear hmm in the beginning. Like that's like in the middle or like you have a blowout halfway through. So I was like, yeah, so in khalaqanakum in He was like, hmm. And I was like, oh man. He's like, did you prepare? I was like, yeah, like, I really prepared. He's like, khalas, one more time. So I started, ya yuhan nasu taqarabbukum, surat nisa, surat nisa, nisa. And then like halfway through, anyone who's memorized surat nisa, you know the end of it, wa kan allahu, wa kan allahu, every verse, wa kan allahu, wa kan allahu, wa kan allahu. It's the same thing. So you're getting lost. Like you're lost, man. So if you make one mistake, you might go to like two pages somewhere else. So I was like, what can Allah And I stopped. He's like, what can Allah Hmm? I said, oh man, here we go. And then I had this massive blowout in Surat Nisa. And then I started crying, man. And he said to me, anyone that wanted this had to cry for it. Every Imam, every Shaykh, every Qari who sat where you sit now had to fail to learn to be human. And I was like, man, you can make me cry more. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the Sheikh is saying, embrace failure. Meaning at the moment that you're going through that crippling challenge and you feel broken, you might see the bright stars. So he like uses analogy because he's from the Bedo, from the desert, of this dark, dark sky. And he's saying, the darker the sky, the brighter the stars. So the moment that you feel broken or the moment that you're experiencing trauma, it may be an opportunity to gain the ability for appreciation. That's why that verse says, the night and the day were made for reflection and thanks. The test and trials and success are made for reflection and the opportunity to appreciate. And sometimes nothing helps us appreciate things like loss. So he says, Be patient and stop in the middle of the trauma and try to count the blessings that are in front of you. Until, until the sun eliminates that.
until the sun takes over, meaning the trial is removed. And again, that alludes to the idea of patience, resilience. Things don't happen immediately. The, the, the process of crying and learning. That's not an event, right? You just don't go once and read Quran and cry. You don't go once and like, you know, put too much on the bar, right? You don't walk into a relationship and, make, and, and, and be told that you're not going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes.